To those tuning in from Fox Sports, we are in heat number seven for the round of 16 and heat number eight for the round of 16, running overlapping heats this morning here in Hossegor. Michelle Perez and Italo Ferreira have just hit the lineup. ...of the wave and making the most of it. It seems like Italo took off on a similar peak. Wow, what an aggressive maneuver from Italo. I love the way that he doesn't find that barrel section, but then once he goes to the maneuver option, even on a milky face, he is just so explosive, so powerful. They are not even surfing the really heavy part of the barrel over there. Here goes Italo flying out of a barrel. He's finding something. But down the beach there, there's a crazy part of the sandbar that is really hollow. And I mean, just amazing. And there's nobody up there. And Iago jumped off the ski and found himself on that last wave. That was the wave. That was the sandbar that these guys, I think, haven't been surfing. He is such an animal. Then backs it up. Just tube time. Are you kidding? We're waiting for this score to drop in still. He is ready to rumble. His engine is just revving. I call him for the Ferrari. Italo Ferrara just ready to go. I'm just I'm just happy to be back here. What about the support you're getting from both the Italian crowd and the local crowd? You live here in Hossengor, you're getting so much love on the beach. It's incredible to uh, come in and see all the Italians, all the local people. It's almost emotional just to see how many people are supporting me. So the quarterfinals will be coming up next. We are going to run those as overlapping heats as well. So a lot of waves coming through the lineup. Italo Ferreira flying through on his backhand. Great opening turn. Just caught up a second too late, maybe. But can I, I mean, even with the priority switching, Kolohe still wouldn't get an interference. He didn't cross uh, Yago's line, so the situation would kind of stay the same. It if Yago had attacked that wave and, and maybe surfed it to its potential, looking for the 4-3-3, so that's where it kind of gets a little bit tricky. Have a look out in front. Man, the waves are just absolutely on fire. Rosie, who was that tucked in? Wow, I'm going to have to figure it out because they were so deep in that barrel. Let's see someone a little further south. It was actually Jeremy Flores who locked in on that previous ride. And now Michelle Perez, another French competitor, tucked in under the lip, throws it down. He's going to straighten out, get onto that jet ski. Go in his line at the moment because Jeremy has started so well. Michelle Perez tucking under, finding some vision, really had to put on the brakes to find that barrel, then hacks into that maneuver. It's coming underway, 15 minutes left on the clock. Italo Ferreira though, currently sitting in the lead, throwing so much power in on his backhand attack. He's sitting with a 6.67 and a 4.93 at the moment, looking to put more distance between himself and Michelle Perez. Love that end move that Michelle was able to lay into. Italo grabs the rail in that bottom turn, beautiful plume of spray coming out of the fins. This guy, he just never falls off. Facing an 8.51 to take the advancing position over Italo Ferreira. There's the scores in from the judges for that last one. But Michelle Brez tucked in. Can he come out unable to finding the left? <laughs> so scores in a 4.57 for Jeremy Flores. Scores mostly coming from the opening turn. Michelle Brez now tracking down the line, gaining some speed. Nice wrap, driving that rail in, sets himself up for a second. So connecting those two maneuvers together really clean. Now coming through to, to catch the ski on the inside. Italo likely takes the win over Michelle Perez advancing into the quarterfinals. Jeremy Flores currently leading with an 8.07 and a 5.33 over Ryan Callanan. We'll be right back after this.